Hi, this is Decentered Media, conversations about community-focused communications for positive social change. Hello, uh, Rob Watson here for Decentered Media, and this is an update about this week's community media maker Zoom drop-in, uh, which takes place on Thursdays, six o'clock. Uh, you can sign up via Patreon, so go to patreon.com slash decenteredmedia, or you can visit decentered.co.uk for details. This week, we're gonna be having a conversation and discussion about the affordability of our media. At the moment, we're living through or experiencing, um, although it has happened before, uh, a, a, an increase in energy prices, uh, the supply situation, uh, triggered by the Ukraine war, the hot and dry summer is really focusing and concentrating people's minds on sustainability and how we're going to deal with climate crisis. And a lot of this is having an, a, a kind of panicking effect on markets and prices are increasing to the point where people are potentially going to have to make choices between heating and eating. So we want to have a conversation this week about the affordable, affordable nature and principles of our media <clears throat> and there's a couple of challenges I've written a blog up on, which is posted up on the site um, that kind of explores some of this so for example at the moment uh, the government policy is to the implementation of the small-scale DAB platforms um, which is being rolled out across the country at the moment and uh, I'm involved in one of those uh, projects um, but the, it's predicated on the assumption that, you know, spending £30 on a set that will sit in your bathroom or your kitchen is affordable. And, uh, you know, some of the community radio stations I've worked with over the last couple of years, you know, that affordability is not the case. The assumption that being able to go to John Lewis to buy a set is something that people can commonly do is not a tenable assumption in our experience. So, you know, this is made, going to be made worse and compounded by the cost of living crisis. If you're making choices about whether to heat or eat, you might not be uh, so uh, welcoming that you, in order to listen to, I don't know, sports coverage on BBC Five Live, uh, that you have to switch to a DAB radio because the BBC are starting to the process of turning off their AM transmitters by 2025. And this was uh, a result of the government uh, white paper that came out earlier in the year. So plans are well ahead to start to manage the digital switchover for radio. Um, and, you know, the question of affordability is, is um, you know, really important because we've seen if things are just less left to the market, take stream and services, for example, had a great boost during the pandemic because people were at home and wanted multiple and had the broadband connections to, to manage multiple uh, services entertainment services and subscriptions but now that people are facing the challenge of having to make choices about their uh, based on their diminishing income and wages are dropping uh, in comparison to inflation we are worse off at the moment because of a number of factors and um, so those streaming services are seen as a luxury and they get dropped quite quickly. So there's been over a million subscribers lost from Netflix and Disney uh, and the other uh, streaming services. So the, we can't really use commercial services as a, an indicator of, uh, you know, as, as a secure form of media because the commercial operators are, after, you know, rightly, they want to make a profit. But that means that when the the, system, the model, the subscription market changes, that they'll drop services and they'll cancel platforms. And we've seen this in America with the merger of uh, HBO, uh, the, the, the parent company uh, Warner Brothers and Discovery merging, and HBO is being ripped apart. So all those people who have subscriptions on that service and thought they were getting a, an extended public benefit from being able to watch high quality drama are suddenly in a position where they're unsure as to what is being guaranteed for their m subscription for their money. So I think it's really important that we don't give the market unfettered control of policy, government policy, and that there are other 
things that are needed within the, uh, the, the, the media landscape, if you like, and our public services and our public need, that guarantee that uh, you know, we can sustain universal access to high quality information, uh, some entertainment and you know, educational uh, content. Particularly, you know, we learned that these were essential during the pandemic, that people needed trusted sources. So the BBC, you know, it, you know, many people who are dropping their subscription services will be returning to the BBC to explore the content that the BBC might offer on the iPlayer or on, on terrestrial broadcasts. And you know, there might be questions about whether people can afford to pay their licence fee, but at the same time, it's not, um, you know, the price increases aren't going to be you know, in, you know, done at a whim. You know, Netflix, Disney, uh, Amazon—they've all increased their prices above, uh, you know, a, a, above the average price increases that they'd set out in previous years. Uh, and now the question is: uh, Is that a justified price increase? And many people would argue in a time like this, when we're facing a recession, that actually what happens is corporate organisations price gouge and they see that people have got nowhere else to go and they they just massively increase prices beyond what it actually costs them to, you know, in the marketplace. So the market isn't this open-ended thing that helps people and, you know, is bene beneficent. It's actually designed there to extract value and extract profit from people's uh, interest in, and you know, things that they want. And you know, so streaming media rapidly stops being something which was regarded as being an essential resource that you have to something that would be considered as a, you know, as, as it's nice to have, but you can drop it uh, if you need to. It's not like making sure you've got your bus fare to get to work or money to put petrol in your car is going to take precedence over uh, or feeding your children is going to take pre pre precedence over whether you are watching or listening to the latest streaming service. So you can see where these pressures are coming from and I don't think the market response really is concerned with affordability other than the fact that um, you know, they use these opportunities as a way of uh, um, if increasing efficiency and looking at where management duplication exists and, and they'll rationalise and they'll merge. And the danger is, in a market situation like this, is that what we'll end up with is an in increasingly uh, concentrated market. So there'll be much more market consolidation. Uh, radio stations, Bauer and Global, for example, will want to uh, enforce tighter and tighter brand restrictions and formats on their stations. There will be less that will be developed which is genuinely local because that's expensive to do. And it will be, you know, less and less media will be created within communities and it will be done at a distance for communities. And we all know suspect and, and have issues with the way that as, is a model that the BBC has followed and that they are increasingly or it feels sometimes increasingly remote from the places where we live and it's done from afar um, and so that raises a huge question for community media and community radio as to uh, what do we do how do we respond what kind of services do we offer and how can we make them sustainable because this is this period of economic uh, pressure is going to show all the limitations and the, you know, the, the, the perhaps a threadbare nature of community radio and community media and the way in which it hasn't been invested in and the lack of you know, m management infrastructure and the lack of connection and the lack of understanding that it's regarded as an, an essential social uh, service and so the, the I've argued this on a number of occasions in different places but the fact that the uh, media bill isn't connected with the level and up white paper uh, seems to me to be remiss that there are, the public purpose of our media is not really being channeled into something which actually adds to the you know the benefit the greater benefit of everybody in society but it's kind of just been allowed to you know maintain its separate status and, and the, the, the voices of the powerless as ever aren't 
getting a, a proper hearing in terms of the planning and the nature of uh, media provision because it's you know it's seductive to want to be part of a global network of international corporations and conglomerations you know there's a lot of money to be made in those things but at the end of the day people live in local communities and places and neighborhoods and have you know challenges of their own in those places and, and are entitled to have their voices uh, heard within those places as well so it's a democratic social democratic uh, process and it can be undermined uh, by the market uh, quite significantly anyway um, it's supposed to rain today and so far it's kind of had a, a, a wisp of drizzle in the air but it kind of disappeared but it might rain in a bit it's supposed to be uh, a a flash flood we've not had any rain for the last couple of months so i'm going to find a coffee shop to uh, sit in and uh, do some work uh, yeah if you want to get in contact uh, i'm on instagram and twitter is at decentered media and the website is decentered.co.uk uh, to subscribe uh, i ask for a contribution which is kind of ring fenced uh, I don't use it for anything else other than to support the hosting costs for the Zoom meetings and the, uh, the stuff that I do on YouTube, that kind of stuff. So any help is always appreciated from as little as whatever the minimum payment is on Patreon, a pound or whatever, 79 cents, whatever it works out. At. You can, if you pay more, it's more than welcome. Uh, and just really, to kind of, that's how you get the link. So you get emailed the link to the Zoom session um, each week. And if there's any other material that we're producing and share, sharing, then you'll get a first look at that through the Patreon subscription as well. Uh, but, yeah, until next time, uh, have fun, enjoy the last couple of weeks of the summer, and, uh, yeah, keep making really good community media. Visit decentered.co.uk or follow us on Instagram and Twitter at decentered media.